All right, so uh, welcome back to the One Class channel. Again, my name is Joey. I'm going to be your chemistry teacher for this session. So uh, here at One Class, if you're tuning in for, tuning, uh, tuning, uh, in for the first time, what we're doing here is that we're verifying solutions um, kind of in math and in chemistry, um, in both in the secondary school level, so the high school level, and as well as in the uh, university and college level. So particularly in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to work through hopefully 10 questions in the university level. So this is uh, in your general chemistry uh, university level one. Uh, your one course or in your organic chemistry course. So these are problems that you typically find there. Again, my name is Joey. I'm currently an Ontario secondary school educator and my uh, teachables are indeed, uh, are, are one of them is in chemistry. Um, so hopefully with my background and that one class here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna verify these solutions together so we have the best resources moving forward. So let's get started on today's problems here. So what we have here today is um, our first question that he's asking is rank these systems in order of decreasing entropy. So from largest entropy to the biggest entropy, the largest entropy to the smallest entropy. So let's see, refresh the page here for a sec. So I want, I'm ranking them from basically largest, the writing is not the best here, sorry. So largest entropy to smallest. And then what we're gonna do is, uh, and then you can rank them as equivalent if you overlap them. Okay, so we're given these guys here. So we have one mole of nitrogen dioxide at 273 Kelvin and 40 liters. We have a mole of helium gas at 273 Kelvin, 20 liters, and then basically a combination of these guys here. So what we have to do is if we wanna figure out this problem, what we're gonna have to do is look at these specific factors. So we're gonna look here first at the moles so first we were talking about the moles or how, how how much amount of gas there is in in the um in uh, in their uh in the chemical in the compound so amount so this here is measure of gas so the moles is our first factor our second factor is actually the type or what chemical it actually is so type here would be chemical structure would be another factor Thirdly, we have, as you can see here, we have temperature, right? Temperature is also a factor. And then finally, volume is a factor with 40 liters and some of them are at 20 liters, right? So volume here is our fourth factor here. So uh, knowing these four factors, how are, they, how are they related to entropy? So let me look at this here. We have moles here. So moles here is the measure of gas. So if you think about moles here, the more moles you have, the larger entropy is going to be because the moment I break up that system, I'm going to have more energy that's being released or it's going to create more disorder, right? So this is actually proportional to entropy. So I'm gonna say here, I'm gonna do a little fish sign and say this here is, um, proportional to S here or delta, or delta S here. So therefore, as I increase my moles here, I'm going to increase the amount of entropy that's given. Chemical structure. So this is looking at nitrogen gas, look at helium, helium, nitrogen gas, liquid helium, and so on and so forth. So chemical structure, um, basically I increase the amount of entropy if it's the bigger the compound, right? So the bigger or the larger, larger, it's also proportional to delta S, right? So a larger chemical structure will give me a bigger entropy, change of entropy. Same with this temperature here. If you think of a temperature and think back to particle theory, we, we're given the higher the temperature, the higher the moving of molecules, right? So your, our, our elements, our, our molecules are moving faster because there's, uh, because there's higher temperature, right? So the higher the temperature, the higher the entropy, right? Because again, if I were to, uh, the amount of the entropy is just the amount of disorder, right? The higher, um, the, the faster the molecules are moving, um, the higher the entropy, obviously. And then finally for volume, volume is also, um, it also increasing entropy as well because I have more space, right? This is talking volume, when we're talking about volume, we're talking about space in which the molecules are kind of um, entrapped in. And the higher the volume, the higher the entropy as well. So given these relationships, we can actually solve this problem here. So if you look look here, um, the, their solution that they wrote here is that one mole of nitrogen dioxide at 273 at 40 is going to be greater than uh, one mole of uh, nitrogen gas at 273 and 40. So this solution here is correct. 
So the reason why that is, is that I'm going to prove that the first statement is correct by simply just saying, uh, drawing out the chemical structure. Remember, if I'm looking at the moles here, I have one moles and one moles, so they're exactly the same amount of moles. Same temperature, 273 Kelvin to 273 Kelvin, and then 40 liters and 40 liters. So all the all three of these guys are the same except for the chemical structure. So we're comparing here NO2 versus N2, right? And as you can see, NO2 by atomic mass and by molar mass is the bigger structure, right? And I told you that the larger structure is proportional to the entropy here. So therefore, uh, this here is the highest. Um, it's going to create the most amount of entropy in our in um, in our system here. So I'm going to write number one here. Our rank one one here is one mole NO2 gas at 273 Kelvin in 40 liters. So this here is our first one here. And then therefore, if this is our first one here, then the second one must be um, our nitrogen gas, right? Our nitrogen gas here will be our uh, our next kind of, um, uh, next second largest, you can say. So this would be one mole of N2 gas at, again, same temperature, 273 Kelvin in 40 liters. So uh, looking at these two, again, these two are the biggest structures, right? Nitrogen and nitrogen dioxide are the biggest structures. And then we're going to look at we're going to look at next we're going to look at the next biggest one. The next biggest one is going to be helium, right? Helium, helium, liquid helium, helium gas and helium gas. So all of these guys are helium. And then we have to look at our concentrations, right? Or sorry, our moles here. And as you can see, this one mole here and this one mole here would be would be kind of the same um, same molarity here. And as you can see, the only difference between these two these two things are its volume, right? So as you can see, this one is 20 liters and this one is 40 liters. And as you as we said already, if we increase the space in which the molecules are trapped in, we're increasing the amount of entropy. So therefore, our rank three would be rank three. <coughs> our number third would be one mole of this would be helium gas at this would be again 273 kelvin in 40 liters and the number four would be again one mole of helium gas helium gas at 273 kelvin in 20 liters so again these two would be my next kind of two uh separate things and then finally if i have one so this here is good this here is good um, this one is good as well, and this one is good as well. So now we have to look at the half mol moles, right? The half moles here are half mole of helium gas and uh, half mole of he liquid helium and half mole of uh, helium gas here. So I'm going to compare the helium gas and the helium gas. We know for a fact that the liquid helium here is going to be the lowest entropy because liquid here moves slower than gas, right, according to particle theory. So we're going to look at basically this half he here and this half here. And as you can see, uh, the only thing that's changing between half mole of helium gas at 273 Kelvin at tw and 20 and this one here, half mole of helium gas at 100 Kelvin and 20, uh, 20 liters is a temperature, right? So temperature here is from 273 to 100 here. And as I said before temperature is proportional to our to entropy right as i increase the amount of temperature i'm going to increase the entropy as well so number five would is going to be the next largest one will be half a mole of this is also helium gas this would be at 273 kelvin and this was going to be in 20 liters in 20 liters and number six is going to be half a mole of helium gas at this would be a hundred Kelvin in 20 liters and finally the only one we have left we have one two three four five six seven is going to be the liquid right and as I said before the liquid guy here the liquid helium here is going to have the lowest amount of entropy because of its state right all the all of these guys are gases here and this one here is a liquid and as we know here liquid moves much slower than gas here because the, according to particle theory so this here is going to be our order from e increasing to decreasing entropy right so this here is going to be let me do this in blue here so this here is uh, let me put a line here this here is uh increasing entropy the delta s is going to increase here so delta s this is most or greatest or largest, largest, and this is the smallest here. 
So this here is going to be the order, and this here is our answer. And I believe they also got the same, uh, same, uh, same, uh, same solution here. And they even specified here at the same conditions, one mole of nitrogen dioxide can be more disordered than one mole of N2 or HE because it contains three atoms, right? So again, the larger the chemical structure, the more disorder can contain. And this here is as in 273 and 100 Kelvin, half mole of helium gas at 100 K and 20 liters has less entropy because the lower temperature, the gas molecules are not as energetic. They don't, they don't possess enough kinetic energy and they don't occupy that many ener energetic states. Or you can just simply say there's less, um, there's more entropy because uh, the there is more kinetic energy that's being placed into the system. And as we know that, uh, we know here, um, uh, gives free energy and entropy are also related, right? But delta G equals delta U minus T delta S here. And liquid, uh, again, has lower entropy than gas, which is correct because of particle theories, because liquid particles move slower than gas particles. So this here solution is correct. It's a good analysis here.